The tale of two trees, both the State House holiday tree and the Christmas tree outside St. Patrick's Church are being lit tonight. This marks the beginning of the holiday season and culminates the name game controversy that's been playing out since last week. From the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Highway to Sue's reporter Catherine Sotnik is live outside the State House. Well, Mike and Susan, actually uh, five minutes before, not five minutes, five seconds before we went on air, that tree was just lit here behind me. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see it. You can also see some people lining up to go in there. Everyone has to go through security and quite the crowd came out here. Everyone being checked in through security before they can get into the state house for this controversial tree lighting. We did speak to the governor earlier today and he says he was a little nervous. He admitted he was a little nervous about the tree lighting tonight because of the controversy surrounding it. And he was hoping that it would go smoothly. So far, so good. There's people in there singing Christmas carols and again, quite the crowd coming out here tonight. The tree lighting, of course, has garnered national attention and worldwide attention, actually. And many of the people who are coming here tonight, they're dressed in Christmas clothing and they're protesting Governor Lincoln Chafee because he's calling it a holiday tree as compared to a Christmas tree. The Catholic Diocese, as we well know, is also firing back tonight. They're holding their own Christmas tree lighting. They did a short time ago down the street, down Smith Street at St. Patrick's Church. We spoke to some of the people here tonight who are very disappointed with the governor. You can hear them inside there right now. They're very disappointed with the governor uh, who says he's not backing down and he's still calling it a holiday tree. He says to be inclusive, but some people say he's trying to be so inclusive that he's actually being exclusive. Here's some reaction to uh, his decision. I think the governor's wrong. I think he's wet. I pray for the governor. I pray that somebody uh, gets to him, whether it's uh, anybody that can get to him. And he's a progressive and he's, a, and he's an ultra liberal. And I, I just don't think that agenda is what we need in this country right now. Well, we're just carrying on with past tr tradition. And uh, there's been changes of how you address uh, this uh, Christian holiday uh, through the years things have changed back from even years ago we used to say the Lord's Prayer in school here we are in a school we used to have to say the Lord's Prayer that changed so things have changed over the years and I think this is one indication of those changes that are occurring as we address religious holidays. Of course we're disappointed that the governor decided to eliminate the word Christmas from his celebration obviously there's a reason we do it in December it's because we're celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ at this time of the year and it's something the Christian Church has always done and it's just uh, incongruous to, to remove Christ from Christmas and still have some kind of a celebration. The Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Katherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.